Yo, what is going on guys? CW Pokey here back with a brand new video. Now you guys know that I'm a big fan of fan made designs, especially when it comes to new Pokemon or new forms. But this time around, I've stumbled upon a Reddit post that was a little different. Brand new Pokeball designs. Something I've wished Game Freak would do for a while now is give us more Pokeball variations and we saw a little bit of that with the Beast Ball in Pokemon Sun and Moon. However, that one is incredibly limited in its usage compared to nearly any other Pokeball. But Pokeballs themselves have the potential to be incredibly diverse. I mean, this is a world where people use these things to capture Pokemon. So you'd imagine creative minds would come up with thousands of different Pokeballs based off of various situations. So I figured it would be fun to share some of these clever designs with you guys. And as always, a link to the original post and artist will be down below. Now, before we begin, let me ask you, if you had the opportunity to create a unique Pokeball, what kind of properties would you give it? Feel free to type your answer in the comment section down below. Who knows, maybe a talented artist will see your answers and draw their own imagination of it just like these ones and now let's jump straight into this video first up is probably my favorite set of pokeballs in this entire list the storm ball sunny ball snowball and dust ball if you guys weren't able to tell these pokeballs are designed off of weather conditions being on the battlefield if the respective weather condition is set, it becomes easier to catch Pokemon. But the thing I like most about these designs is that they would actually influence cast form. Depending on which ball you capture them in, that influences what default form it starts in. So let's say I catch a cast form in a storm ball, it'll instantly start in the rainy form. And for the dust ball, it'll stay in its default form. I could also imagine these Pokeballs would have other effects as well. Maybe like prolonging the duration of the respective weather by a single turn or two. Next up we have some Pokeballs that are actually based off of the typing of the Pokemon that is being captured. So first on this list is the Insulation Ball, which has a higher catch rate on Fire, Ice, and Electric types. Next up is the Mystic Ball, a ball that balances the energy of the Pokemon inside, which has a higher catch rate on Psychic and Ghost types. Next up is the Shadow Ball, a dimly lit ball for those that take comfort in shadow, a higher catch rate on Ghost and Dark types. Followed by the Harvest Ball, a cool soil and warm sun make this ball particularly inviting to more grounded Pokemon, which would give it a higher capture rate on grass and ground types. And lastly, the Roost Ball. Inside are large down pillows perfect for flying types or any Pokemon that just love to sleep, which would give it a higher capture rate on flying types or any sleep themed Pokemon such as Snorlax. Now one thing that annoys me about the current list of Pokeballs is that they're very niche and they could easily have counterpart Pokeballs. For instance, the Dusk Ball, which raises the capture chances of Pokemon when you're in a cave or when it's nighttime out. So there was a user that came up with the idea of the Dawn Ball, which gives you a higher capture rate during the day and in brightly lit buildings, as well as the Sun Ball which has a higher capture rate for Pokemon that evolve via the Sunstone just like the current Moon Ball. On top of that there's also a cool Pokeball known as the Money Ball which gives you a 10% increase to prize money from trainer battles if this Pokemon has actually participated in the battle. And another really cool one is the Trauma Ball which gives you a higher capture rate on burned, frozen, paralyzed, or poisoned Pokemon and it also heals the status afterwards. It's kind of like the Heal Ball, except it also focuses more on status conditions. And some of the last Pokeballs on this list are actually some really cool ones because they're so unique and creative. The first one is the Relic Ball, a ball that imitates the environment of long ago, which gives you a higher capture rate on ancient Pokemon such as Unknown or Golurk. And Revive Fossil Pokemon will now come in these as well. Next we have the Thorn Ball, a pretty but uncomfortable ball lined with thorns. It mainly works on grass and poison types with a higher capture rate, but it also has a 4 times capture rate on Ferroseed, Roselia, Cacnea, Mariani, and Quillfish lines just because they're very spiky Pokemon. And lastly is the Sugar Ball. Its sweet odor makes the ball more appealing, which gives it a double capture rate on any Pokemon. Bug and Fairy types are particularly drawn to these with a 3.5 times capture rate. I think something to also make this a little bit funnier would actually be to decrease the capture rate on Poison type Pokemon and maybe even Dark types just because they're a little bit more sinister and maybe wouldn't like something sweet. And with all of that, this list is already over, so let me know what your guys' favorite Pokeball design was. Also, don't forget to show love to the original artist of these designs, Sarah Cross over on Reddit. Again, a link to the original post which credits the original creative minds behind these designs can be found over there. Thanks so much for watching guys, be sure to smash that like button if you enjoyed, and if you haven't already, click that subscribe button. I would heavily appreciate it. Thanks again for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.